Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and this is a really, really cool one. So this product was sent to me by Livevel, they were sending me this for review. And what this product is here, this is something I've truly never seen before. This is a helmet phone, guys. So basically it combines a Bluetooth headphone, right, and a helmet. So that's a really, really interesting combination. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's something I've never seen before. And also, the box is awesome. I, I love the design of this box. So I am very hyped for this product here. And yeah, you know, this is a good product indeed. Let's open it up here. I like how easy that is to uh, unbox. That's pretty easy, right? So I'm going to take out the uh, helmet. I actually have been looking for a new helmet for a while anyway. I do I do own a Bell helmet, but I've had that Bell helmet for about 10 years now, and it no longer really fits well, and, you know. So here's the box here. It's now empty. I'm very happy to uh, see that. Put that over here. So everything you need is going to be uh, right here. I'm, I'm going to leave the box on camera just in case you want to see it uh, some more here. Take the helmet here. Put that here. Anything else here in the box? Um... Let's open it up here. This says ride difference, so that's a cool little catchphrase here. I'm gonna stick my hand in here to tell me if I feel anything. I do not, so this appears to be empty, so I think it's just basically a holder, and that's uh, really it. Hopefully there's some type of charging capabilities in the actual item, because you're gonna need to charge it, because uh, you know it has the Bluetooth capabilities, I'm, I'm guessing. So, we have a little container here. This has the uh, Bling Remote Controller, the uh, BR80 Live L. So this is something that's going to help you with your music experience. You also see a cable in here, so that does alleviate any concern I had, you know, coming up to that point. So I'm going to take it out here. Yeah, it always, it always comes with the uh, silica gel. Guys, I used to think this stuff is poisonous for your human body, but it actually is not poisonous. If you do eat this, nothing will happen. Obviously, I'm not gonna try and find out, but I did do some research, and yeah, you should you should be all right. The point of silica gel is to uh, get rid of any moisture while, uh, you know, while tra during transportation. You know what I'm saying? To try to avoid any moisture. So here it is, guys. We're gonna adjust this in a moment, basing on my head size. I'm gonna pull this off first. Here, this is the uh, tag. This tag came off easy enough. I'm gonna pull. This thing off. I always hate this thing, you know. That is off here. So, got a couple of little cool pieces here. There's an application you could download here, as you can see here. We're gonna, I'm gonna look into that in a moment, but definitely not something I want to do first. You know, that's so. Here's a little, little, you know, little gift bag here that has everything you're gonna need to get this thing on the road. You know, so uh, here's the uh, important warranty card. Here, here's the important warranty card. Here you go. And here is the uh, quick start guide. So that's something that we may need to use this. I'll be honest, it doesn't seem like it's the simplest thing, which is fine because they're really making a whole new product category. So yeah, if I had to take a second to figure out what I'm doing, that's okay. So here's the cable here. This has its own proprietary charging, which means no micro uh, USB cable. That's okay. You know, I like micro USB because it's so universally accepted. But with the emergence of USB Type C, I'm starting to see all the issues with micro uh, USB. So here is this thing here. I'm trying to see exactly what I can use this for. So this connects with Bluetooth, guys, and it seems like you attach it to something here. So I'm gonna do research when we get up to this point because I, I want to make sure I'm doing this part correctly. But for now, I want to take a closer look here at the helmet here. So one thing I find interesting here is I see this here. I guess this is like a sun visor or something like that. So yeah, this is definitely going to be the front of the product. And this is the uh, back because the back of your head, that's that's more. I'll be honest with you, the back of the head is more important than the front. Because the back of your head has your spinal cord and all your uh, very, very important things. The front of your head is very important too. It's your prefrontal, it's your prefrontal cortex. But the prefrontal cortex is responsible for higher learning and stuff like that, memory. And that's important, but your metabolic processes, breathing, uh, breathing and uh, all the other stuff, uh, you know, neural networks, it's on the, it, all, it all goes up the spine into the, uh, up here. So that's why the back here is always gonna be uh, more protective. And speaking of the back, I see a power button here, if you can see that. 
So that's a good sign. That's going to be how you're going to want to turn this thing on here. I presume the part above it is the uh, charging port. Yep. So you charge it up here. I presume it comes with some type of battery, so don't have to worry about that yet. I'm going to turn this thing on. Power on. That's cool. I like that feature a lot. So it, 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 it makes it clear when this thing is on. So there should be speakers somewhere on here. I want to see if I can find those speakers. Let's see here. There's some type of speakers here. I don't see the speakers. So at this point, guys, I'm going to connect my uh, phone to this thing. Because this, this is most likely Bluetooth here. Um, so I'm going to take my phone out here. I'm going to connect it. And we're going to get the show on the road. Also, off camera, I'm going to see what, the, what exactly this thing does. So give me one moment, guys. I'll be right back. We're back here, guys. So I had the, I took the liberty of figuring figuring out all the the difficult stuff that I really wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. So basically, guys, download the Leval app right here, and I did that using this uh, QR code right here. Once you do that, guys, obviously you want to connect your uh, Bing helmet here. If once you connect your Bing helmet to your phone via Bluetooth, you open up the app, and it's automatically going to connect to the helmet so that's very very easy you just click on here and it should automatically uh, collect uh, connect and once you get here you have a lot of cool features you can change the name you can change the uh, light settings here as you can as you can see we're going to check that out here right now hit flash and as you guys can see this thing flashes now which is really cool you hit flow and this is flow and then you have close which i'm pretty sure that means no more no more light yeah and then default is default. So there's a lot of cool different options here. I like a mod. I think flow is probably the best. I like flow. So that's one cool feature. You can change your name. I don't, I don't have a desire to change your name, but you know, it's going to be there. And what you can do, guys, you can, these arrow keys, these arrow keys, as you see down here, are meant to see whether your helmet is successfully uh, connected here. They are. I don't need to click it. But if you click on this, it goes through a whole process of checking to make sure this thing is ready to go. So, yeah, that's cool. And you also want to connect this piece here, the uh, remote controller here. And that's this thing here. As you, this, that's this thing here. It, it can't do too much. Which kind of sucks. It's not like a true Bluetooth remote, but it could do a couple of cool things. You could it could uh, switch between songs, kind of. I've been having trouble with that. You can you could pause and and play a song. You could definitely do that. You can take a picture up here. You can uh, use the voice command button here. So if you are using either you know Google Assistant or potentially if you're using like um, you're calling somebody, you know you could still use those features here. While you're there, so you can apparently clip this onto here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick look at the instructions, guys, because it does specify you can potentially click it on here. So let me check out how you do that. Okay, I'll be right back. We're back here, guys. So yeah, you're supposed to clip this onto your bike. So yeah, you want to clip it onto your bike. That's how you're supposed to do it. I don't have my bike with me right now, but hey, that's okay. Maybe we could make a supplement bike here or a pretend bike bar. Um, here is a, a weight here. Can I attach it to here? Mm, that doesn't really work, but it's okay guys. You know, I, I watched the video here, so it definitely does work. Um, let, me, let me try my light. Let's see here. Yeah, so that appears that appears to work pretty well. So yeah, I, I can't really show you that feature, but I can show you everything else here. So at this point, guys, I do want to test the functionality of this thing. Apparently, this thing can take a picture here. So I'm going to click the picture button here. So... I've clicked it about five times now, so I don't know if the camera is referred to the camera on my phone or if there's a camera on here somewhere. That's a good question. I'm going to have to take a look at my uh, my gallery and see exactly where the camera is. It could just be on my phone. That probably makes sense. Um, yeah. So you can also change the songs on here. Let me do that for you. Well, not change the songs, but you can pause and play the songs. Here's Dr. Vox. So the speakers here are pretty loud. They're pretty cool. Um, vocal quality could use some work. That was definitely the uh, concession made here. So you have speakers right here. Did you see that? You see that? So those are speakers there. And for 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 a helmet, for a biking helmet, it's fantastic. But it's not perfect. The speakers could use some improvement. I do think they will improve it on future models. So, you know, that's fine by me. I'm going to put this thing on, guys. There's more things I want to talk to you regarding the actual product itself. I do want to show this thing right now. So th this is the pause button here. Click that, and that will pause the song. You click it again and play it, as you can see. So the up and down button, it can change something. It, it's not always clear what it can change, but it definitely uh, changes something here. You click this. Yeah, my bad, it changes the volume. Yeah, it changes the volume here. 
So that does something. Which is cool, I'm really happy it does. But the thing that's confusing me is the left and right buttons here. Look at this. You see this? I, I don't... I don't understand the point. I guess maybe if you want to tell somebody who's behind you or in front of you or whatever that you're, you're changing lanes or you're making a left turn, maybe that's the point of it. But it's confusing because these two things do something on the actual phone, you know? These two things do something. But then these things don't do anything conceivable. So it's just kind of weird how that works. I'm guessing there's something it does I just don't really know. So I'm going to put the thing on now. I think, you know, it's time to see how this thing looks on me. I, I, you know, another cool feature here, guys, is you have a, a spinner right here. This spinner here. This can adjust from a big head here to, a, to small heads. So this is how you make it tighter, right? This is how you make it looser, like this. You see the difference? Hopefully you can see the difference there. See that? You definitely see that. So, my head's pretty big. I'm going to put it on the loosest uh, setting here. It's supposed to be like this here. This part's supposed to be in the front. This is like a sun visor. A lot of technology is in the uh, back here. I'm going to kind of put this thing on as best as possible. I do want to, once it's on, you do want to tighten it. So, I'm going to tighten it. So, that's, that's pretty good. I'm going to clip it on here. So, yeah, it's on, man. Yeah, I'm... This is awesome. So I'm gonna play some music here. Let's see how it sounds from this perspective. Roll the volume a bit. The speakers are right here. So I'm gonna roll the volume a bit. You can see what I'm doing. Honestly, about about there. That's pretty acceptable because the speakers are right in front of me, you know? So I'm, I'm gonna run around a bit in my room. I'm, I don't have my bike here. But I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna make sure it sticks on my head and all that great stuff. I'm gonna see how comfortable it is. So yeah, I'm gonna stand up here. Let's see how. Sorry about that. Let me let me stand up here. Let's see how this thing does. I'm gonna tighten it up a bit. So yeah, like this thing is pretty comfortable and you can adjust this thing really easily with this thing, this little spinny thing. It plays music, man. It's not too heavy. I'm going to switch the song here. So let me switch it on here. Let's, let's try another Dr. Vox. Oh boy. I didn't mean to do that. That's a copyright song. Let me go back here. Let's try Heat Show. I like this. I think it's pretty good. And you can use this thing to pause it. As you can see, so that's uh, you know, really cool overall, guys. I think I've I think I've covered everything here, and you know, I'm really impressed by this product here. Um, the the uh, the product, the uh, helmet I've been using for many years now. I have a Bell Black helmet, and I do think this is actually good enough to to us uh, to replace my old helmet. You know, it's old and it's kind of busted. This thing is pretty cool. I think this is a new helmet I'm going to use. So yeah. If you ever see me on the streets, you may see me wearing this because I'm going to be wearing it from now on. So yeah, feels feels pretty comfortable, pretty strong. So I'm impressed, man. So it, it it's not a perfect product. I I will say that it's not perfect. First of all, I do the speaker quality, while good for especially for a helmet, could be better, especially on, on high volumes of vocals. You can kind of see that some concessions had to be made. This thing is less than a hundred dollars, so you know. I understand. I understand. I mean, the packaging looks awesome, by the way, but, you know, whatever. And also, this thing here, you know, obviously, the, the pause and play button here, the um, up volume and down volume here, but the left and right, other than ch there's little arrows coming out back here, I don't really understand the point of it. It doesn't, it should, it should be used to switch the song on your phone, like any Bluetooth remote, but for some reason, this one doesn't. Um, do that. Um, before I go, I do want to take another look at the app here. I want to make sure we're not forgetting anything here. So I'm going to open up the app again. I'm going to make sure there's nothing else here. Um, yeah, it looks like everything here is good. There is a, there's apparently a heart rate monitor and a, a cadence you can get. I don't think we have those things. Yeah, I don't think we have them because it, it, it's supposed to uh, let me know if I have it. Um, yeah, I'm going to make sure there's nothing else here. We have the uh, 
group setting here. And I'm not in a group. And we do, we do have a nice little, uh, you know, speedometer here, a uh, little pedometer, I mean. So you can kind of get how much, uh, how far you're moving. It gives you a temperature in Celsius, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to move around a little bit, see if it changes. Uh, it's, not really, it's not really moving. Let me get up here. I'm, I'm going to make sure this thing moves before we go. Yeah, sure, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah, it moved. So, yeah, it gives you some type of measurements as you're moving. So that, that feature works. You know, I'm not somebody who cares too much about that. But yeah, overall, guys, this thing is awesome. It's not perfect, you know, but I do commend them from try for trying something new, you know. And when companies try something new, I always give them props, you know. So this is not a five-star product because speaker could use some improvement, I think. And also, this thing on the back here, if you make this thing too tight, this thing kind of hits you in the neck here. So you have to make sure it's loose enough so that the back part doesn't keep hitting you in the neck. If you make it too, if you make it too uh, tight, it may do that. So make sure you make it loose enough so you avoid that. So it's not a perfect product. However, when I, this because this was sent to me for review, a written review is coming tonight, and because they're trying something new, and I always love that, this will get a five star review. It's not perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect, but they're making innovations. And anytime a company innovates in the field, you know, in this day and age, which is pretty rare, I give them. I always give them credit, you know. So overall, guys. This is this is this is a new, uh, this is the next generation of technology and helmets. I think I've never really seen anything like this before. I do think it's going to become an emerging field because I don't want to have to wear earbuds while I'm biking. It's a pain in the ass, and this thing makes it easier for you. So overall, if you do want to buy this, guys, uh, Amazon link here will be down below. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. Put on the notification bell as well. And because this was sent to me for review, expect a written review of this product. The next 24 to 48 hours. You can find that on pboastonline.com, which has great free re reviews like this. You got news videos, you got gameplay, you got great stuff on there. So overall, I'm very impressed. This is an innovative technology, and I look forward to uh, the progression of this company. So I hope you guys enjoy that video, and thank you. Bye.